I feel like every week I could do a video called What Causes Autism This Week? Because despite the fact that there's loads of research going into it, researchers still aren't really sure what causes autism. Although we can say with near certainty that it probably isn't vaccines, which are safe and effective ways to keep your children from dying from horrible diseases. This week's autism scare is antidepressants used during pregnancy, courtesy of a study that was just published in the pediatrics arm of the prestigious Journal of the American Medical Association, or JAMA. The study authors claim that they found evidence showing a specific type of antidepressant, SSRIs, when used in the second or third trimester, can double a child's risk of being born with autism. And because of that, the study authors suggest that pregnant women forego the use of antidepressants. JAMA is a big name in scientific publishing, and this study looked at over 145,000 children, so it's understandable why a lot of people are taking the study author's warning very seriously. But here is why they probably shouldn't. Though overall, the study did start by looking at 145,000 kids. In the end, it was focused on only the kids who were born with autism after being exposed to a very specific type of antidepressant in the second and third trimesters. That number of kids, 22. And amongst those 145,000 kids, 1,008 got autism without being exposed to any antidepressants at all. So that's 1,008 kids who weren't exposed to antidepressants who got autism and 22 kids who were exposed to antidepressants and got autism. Additionally, there were a huge majority of children who were exposed to those specific antidepressants in the second and third trimesters who never developed autism at all. And so when you look at the actual numbers, it wasn't a doubled risk of being born with autism. The actual absolute risk increase is only about 0.5%. Also, while the study authors did try to control for psychiatric problems in the mothers, they weren't able to control for the severity of depression in the mothers. So it's very possible that mothers with very severe depression had both an increased likelihood of being prescribed these antidepressants and an increased likelihood of having children with autism. So to sum up, yes, this research is interesting, but in the end, it's just one very small data point involving 22 children. So we need a lot more research, especially before we start telling pregnant women to give up potentially life-saving medication. This is what happened when one researcher said he found a link between autism and vaccines, again published in a prestigious journal. That turned out to be completely false, but it had a huge negative impact on the health of others. Now parents have bought into this fear-mongering and are withholding life-saving vaccines from their children in order to prevent, prevent them from getting autism. And in this case, we might end up with pregnant women who are benefiting greatly from antidepressants, giving them up for no reason at all. So please, before you stop taking uh, your antidepressants, check with your doctor and wait for more research to be done.